operational leadership can lead to improved business performance, uh, driven primarily by execution. Right? The better you execute, the better your financial performance is going to be. And operational leadership plays a key role in that. You know, a couple examples of, of how it can drive and improve business performance or financial performance of an organization is when you look at execution, you can really focus on how processes work, what happens in those processes, and understand the cost associated with those processes, which then leads to a whole series of opportunities to improve gross margin and uh, EBIT or EBITDA, depending on how your company measures it. So most companies, when they do this and are, and are very good, um, you can see three to five percentage points uh, improvement in your gross margin or your EBITs. Right? Now, two examples of that. One is uh, we worked with a process manufacturing, has large capital intensive equipment uh, with multi steps and a converting process uh, to then shipping as they went forward. We implemented and put into place a very solid management system. And, and really, that's a process to us that's focused on, I call it FAA. How do I get focus, alignment, and accountability within the organization? And these organizations use this as a tool to improve their operational leadership, which then drove uh, three basis points on margins out of that operation. So it's an underperforming business or site that actually became the leading performing site in a series of about six months. Uh, in, in the work that they did around this area. So, you know, how you do this, one is really tied to what we call the management system. And that management system is looking at and aligning around the key metrics that you want to look at as an organization, starting at the very top with the financials. But how does the operational metrics tie to those financials? So how do I know that if I'm improving productivity, that it is truly flowing through to my labor dollars or my overtime dollars, for example? And those are how we're trying to drive this process and this discipline and accountability into the organization. A second way that you can also do this is to ensure that your people are getting diverse experiences. Put them on different projects. Put them in different roles in the business. Move them around to help them understand the operation better and that will in turn give them some new experiences that will strengthen their capabilities and help you drive value within your company.